Tell me something. Do you believe you will? <laughs> uh, I just thought that'd be a funny opener to a quote Batman vs Superman. As you read the title, we're gonna be talking a little bit of comics. If I can, yeah. Because I just read all these this week, all four of these this week, and they were pretty good. Anywho, um, I'll put like time codes down below in the description for um, specific comics. So yeah, um, since this is on top, we're starting out with Batman Year One, baby. Okay, I got some things to say about this. As much as people will say this is an amazing book, yes. I can see why you would say it's an, a, a good, as they say, amazing, but I honestly, I don't think it's as good as people say it is. And also, this ain't a Batman story, this is a Jim Gordon story featuring Batman. Using the Batman name does give it, is why people read it though. It's like, oh, it's Batman. Gotta read that. But yeah, there are good shots, like, um, like this page, this panel right there. I thought this one. That's a good panel right there. That's some good stuff. Although that's literally leading into the chapter thing. But yeah, um, yeah. And also for some reason, whenever it's Batman, this is thinking it's in cursive let me find some or just bruce in general like let me see if i can get this up close enough for you guys to see that don't focus on my face wait, wait. yeah you should be able to tell that's cursive um let me see if i can find like any other like good sh like um panels in this there is good stuff the artwork i, I will say is good not like my f some favorite artwork that I've seen uh, from these comics that I've read, but it is good. Yeah, like this one. This is also a really good panel. Shoot, I'm trying to make sure you can see it. Boom, yeah. That's a good panel of artwork right there. Like look at this, for the chapter two thing. That's some good stuff. That's some real good stuff right there. Yeah, there's probably more in there, but yeah. Um, Batman, year one, good. Not, I will say not as good as people say it is. I enjoy it, I enjoyed it, but not as good as people said, say it is. Uh, next up, ooh boy, this might be my favorite Batman comic that I've read. Then again, I haven't read that many, but yeah. Batman the Long Halloween. This is some good stuff. This is a really good. I literally read this technically in under two days, I would say. But I don't know. Like, this is a good friggin' story. Whole, uh, shoot, that's where I'm looking for. Um, uh, detective story, uh, murder mystery. Good murder mystery. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Where the first killing starts out on Halloween, right? So every month on a holiday, there's another killing. And so on and so forth. The um, killer isn't then proceeded to be called the holiday killer because they only kill people on holiday. I'm gonna flip through here and get, find some really good See if I can find some really good stuff. This is also shows kind of, this also has like the origin of Two-Face, of Harvey Dent becoming Two-Face, which is really done very well. I like it, I like it a lot. Like this, already, boom. I don't even know what page this is, but boom. Batman and Catwoman fighting. Remove the, remove the text bubbles and everything, and that's a poster right there. Slap on a t-shirt. Like Mobius says, shoot, we're talking DC, not Marvel <laughs> right now. Playing through some of this. Another one, Batman, Catwoman. 
bam some good stuff sorry about the glare i have the ring light on for lighting you can tell my glasses see the ring light oh let me find see if i can find something some batman where it shows the stinking long flowing cape which is just batman with a like huge long cape where it just like flows out i love that i don't know why something about that i love like in tv shows like in batman the anime series with his cape and it's just wrapped entirely around his body that just looks cool and i want a cape i just want a cape like that that just wraps entirely around it's like yeah deals with uh, the falcone family the maronis and stuff and you can see after reading this because christopher nolan has stated that influence that dark knight influence had influences from uh killing joke not killing joke um long halloween and i can see that definitely now looking back oh yes like this one of joker this is probably my favorite joker design ever like just fantastic i love it looks amazing okay and there i've i watched long halloween part one of the animated movie that they came out with uh joker and that does not look the best i'd say really i think it's just the hair they gave joker i'll pop an image up here on screen of it the hair they just gave joker is just mm -mm. no not good shoot took me a bit but yeah this one right here look how long this looking cape looks it looks so good like I, w I want a cape like that like, give me a cape that's like super freaking long even though head in the mode goes no capes but yeah um long halloween lived up to the hype that i've heard people always think oh long halloween is one of the best batman stories ever yeah i agree definitely glad i own this and it's very good and i can't wait to see long halloween part two when that comes out next month august 10th definitely gonna be having to pick that up and watch it because um i feel like they didn't choose the best spot to end part one on off of but yeah next up batman dark victory hopefully that's that'll work for reading the title yeah. however for you guys um yeah batman dark victory this is the sequel to uh, long Halloween actually so yeah and it is I wouldn't say better than long Halloween it's definitely good probably still not as good as long Halloween but it's definitely a worthy sequel to long Halloween and I enjoyed reading it it literally took me did it take me under a day think because Tuesday I read Killing Joe yeah this really only took me a day to read oh one more thing on Long Halloween the final few pages of Long Halloween dropped a twist in there that was amazing and I had no idea what was coming but yeah back to Dark Victory real quick um let's see after everything blah blah let's see go through here find some good panels to show you guys uh, and this one actually each month on a holiday just like the holiday killer but it is actually not the holiday killer someone is offing police men it's by hanging them and then posting uh, uh, basically hangman drawing on the dead cop who has a noose on them yeah look sweet remove remove the text bubbles and everything amazing poster right there immediately all right each chapter usually ends like with okay i'm trying to like cover up the stuff like spoiler stuff but like each chapter ends with that of like gordon in his office looking at stuff and the back the board behind him all is actually always changing i never i didn't notice that's like halfway through but it's a pretty good cool detail that like kind of helps you to uh, to kind of also follow along in the story somewhat because it shows 
things of they'll have something there to do with the policeman or policewoman who just got off oh I gotta find this one stinking panel that is like not exactly nightmare feel but it's like pretty creepy but it's also really cool of Joker and Two-Face not Two-Face Joker and Scarecrow I gotta find this somewhere I don't know where it is okay there's this really cool one here though of Joker and Two-Face pretty cool poster worthy stuff all right da, 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 da. also um, Dark Victory um, introduces uh, Dick Grayson into the fray with this one so yeah we get a little bit of Dick Grayson get his origin in there I don't I don't know if there was ever a sequel after Dark Victory to, to make like to basically make like a trilogy of the long Halloween Dark Victory and then a third one I would like to look that up now to see if there was one okay this this panel of um gordon pretty cool gordon looking really cool and ready to do some stuff chapter 12 yes i found it right at the right at chapter 12 wow uh, joker and joker and freaking um scarecrow looking creepy as all get out but also really awesome poster worthy stuff right there yeah another one uh great mm, still don't know if i'd say it's as great as long halloween definitely still top tier batman stuff to read jeff Loeb and tim sale amazing work and lastly we come to one of what is considered batman's greatest um stories the killing joke and literally this is not that long of a read it's like 54 pages long of a read and even in those 54 pages it is really good and i'm gonna take this dust jacket off because i'll make it a lot easier i know some book readers whatever be like don't take the dust jacket off might be cringing at me seeing me do this but yeah i want to unfold it here real quick because ah, that's pretty cool and just for reference i have not seen the um animated batman killing joke movie but i've heard things about it and that basically if you want to see the killing joke story skip like 45 minutes into it <laughs> so yeah oh and then you do up the spine i'm really not wanting there we go boom also looks pretty good so yeah um i enjoyed this it was a fun read crazy stuff like you know it's about to get real crazy when you have that and you're not even on the first actual page of the book oh i'm so excited i love this really good stuff we get an origin for Joker. That was hard. I specifically said Anne because there's no like official origin for Joker, so you never know. Because oh yes, we get Barbara Gordon being paralyzed from legs down, and then become, and then later on, and Batman lore she became Oracle in the wheelchair. But yes, we get sneaking joker showing up in his like tourist outfit up there in that top panel this like little tourist outfit and then just boom shoots barbara paralyzes her and she's in a wheelchair so yeah and then he also kidnapped jim tries to psychologically like destroy the dude trying to prove that even one bad day can make a man go insane that was the whole thing behind joker's plan in this one thing also about this one it's more a joker story than a batman story but honestly well obviously you can't have like joker without batman then again we have joker 2019 which is a good movie i 
two hours, I enjoy it, but yeah. Then we have this part of his origin stuff. And we get one of the most iconic Joker panels right there. Boom. That's how it works. Okay, actually, this is a really cool panel. Yeah. That one right there. That's actually really cool. You gotta admit, that's pretty cool. Batman jumping through the glass to get Joker. I think it's pretty cool. Panel. The artwork in this is really good. I very much enjoy it. And then we literally get to the ending where you have to question, did Batman kill Joker once for all? Or did he not? We will never know because even in the afterword that was done by Brian Bolin, in here it says he gets up to 800 words. And it's so, f he plays it so funny because here at the end of it, because I read that he said, the Batman's hand reached out and dot dot dot. We still don't know to this day if Batman ever killed Joker in that or not. But what's even better is that, because this is the deluxe edition, we get this little thing, the origin of the Joker. And in here, uh, he it has him holding three cards and everything. And he brings up multiple, basically multiple versions of himself as well. Because there's one, let's see, blah, blah. He said, the one where a mob kill, killer named Napier comes to Gotham. And mm, no, way. you're too young for that one. I know, this one always works. So a small time yachts in a red hood walks into a factory, right? He's there to steal the payroll. But then this giant flying rodent knocks him into a vat of chemical waste. Maybe he'll, he just fell. Anyway, either way, he really, really wishes he remembered how to swim. Next thing he knows, he's been spit out into the reservoir. Where, get this, those nasty chemicals have turned his face white and his hair green. Oh, on the plus side, however, he's been given a lovely smile. It's also created in him a deep disdain for urban bats. So he murders the biggest one in all of Gotham. Well, maybe he hasn't yet. I'm not sure. Like, he just bro brought on like several different origins potentially. That's the thing. We have no idea. We don't know the real origin of Joker. Still don't know to this day. So, yeah. Um, let me flip through here. This one, but this one, origin of the Joker is actually a very interesting one to look at. And I would say if you get by Batman Killing Joke, definitely get the Deluxe Edition. I don't know if the Origin of Joker comic thing comes in, like, I guess a Standard Edition one of it. But um, if you do, get the Deluxe Edition and it has the Origin of the Joker little comic. It's a good read there too. So yeah, I guess this is where I leave you guys off. Um, this has been basically the first installation of Keaton After Dark. I honestly forgot if I ever mentioned that at the beginning of the video. But yeah, uh, basically it's it was 11, around 11.30 when I started filming this and it was dark outside. So, you know, Keaton After Dark. It makes so much sense, right? If you've read any other Batman comic stories, drop them down below. I'll be sure to eventually get around to reading those. I have a list of ones that I want to pick up and buy, like Batman Under the Red Hood, Battle for the Cow, Court of Owls, so yeah. Ones like that that I haven't read because I'm kind of, I've gotten comics over years. Let me show you some. Oh yeah, like one I bought that I got like several months ago but I haven't read yet. Uh, the Nightwing Rebirth, Better Than Batman Volume 1. Still need to read this. But um, it looks good. But when I say comics now, and when I say some, this is gonna go, this is gonna be a throwback. It's gonna be a throwback to we're going back to 2010 stuff. Young Justice. I remember the show. I freaking love the show. I've watched season one and two on HBO Max, trying to like kind of get caught up and stuff. And I'm on season three. I've watched the first two episodes. Yeah, I own see issues three, four. 
six and ten of this and um i haven't re i haven't read these in a while so yeah i might have to reread these just for the fun of it because these are season one stories when we get dick grayson robin feeling the aster and being trot the young justice people who've seen it get the references because the opposite of disaster is aster just moving the dis <laughs> oh boy yeah <laughs> But yeah, this has been honestly one of my favorite videos to already film. So yeah, just sit here and talk about uh, comics. Also, don't know if you did, but you notice the little bad rings. Boom. Boom. And boom. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I very much enjoyed it. And yeah, um, hope to see you guys in another video. Maybe I'll be talking more comics. I don't know. I gotta get more comics to read and also get some sleep. So yeah, see you guys later in the next video. Bye-bye.